Hi everyone, it's Joy with Get Fit. A single dumbbell upper body workout. So grab a medium to heavy dumbbell and let's get started. Alrighty guys, we're gonna do just a little bit tiny of a warm up here. So if you need a little bit more, um, take a little extra time to get warmed up. And then you can also start with a lighter dumbbell to get started in that first set. So just go ahead and start giving me a little chest stretch out, opening up through your chest, stretching out through your back. And we'll just do about two and a half minutes here of a little warm up, just to get this upper body ready to go. So a little chest stretch out and then take feet wide and we're just gonna do a little stretch across going from side to side. Getting some rotation here. Going about 10 more seconds and then we're gonna take the movement to a little shoulder press. Going in three, two, one. Let's take this up and over. So just doing a little press up to the top. We are gonna do single dumbbell. We're gonna work chest, back, shoulders, biceps, triceps, a little bit of core. And of course, always your core should be engaged the whole time. So let's take this about eight more seconds. Just pushing up. And then rest, just give me a nice big swing here and then nice deep breath in and exhale. Let's do one arm back at a time. And then take it forward. One more time each side. And then just give me like an upright row and then push down. Upright row, push down. Push down, breathe through it. We just wanna get some mobility here, especially in our shoulders. And then so let's take and go all the way up, big raise, and then down this time, you know, a big W and pull back. So go all the way up, big Y shape here, and then a big W. So pulling back your shoulder blades, squeeze together, all the way up, one more here and then squeeze back. So I'm gonna do most of these on the floor, but if you have a uh, weight bench or an elevated um, step bench or something that you wanna use, that is perfectly fine if you have either one of those options. I'm gonna show you on the floor because we are doing this as a home workout. I'm gonna grab my single dumbbell, going right to the floor. We're gonna start with a chest press to start. So I'm gonna kinda of go here. So I'm gonna have my left hand or right hand all the way up. Make sure to tuck your pelvis in so the small of your back is flat. And then I'm just gonna leave that one arm pointed up towards the ceiling and then pressing with the other side. And so I kinda like to use my hand as a gauge of like, I'm pushing up and I'm making sure that I'm getting that same point of reference as my hand. So I'm pushing straight up from my chest. Today's workout is 30 seconds on each side with a rest in between. We're gonna combo two different movements here. This is the first one. So again, arm up. And then we're just pressing straight up. Making sure we're keeping that weight nice and controlled. Elbows are out. We're pushing from our chest. Keep your abs pulled down and your pelvis tucked in. <laughs> You're doing good. And again, using that lighter weight for that first set if you need to. We're gonna come up to a kind of a semi-standing position. We're gonna be on our knees. We're gonna have one foot forward, one hand back, and I'm just doing elbow right on the top. I'm grabbing my dumbbell and I'm gonna do a row. And on this row, I want you to pull your hand back towards your hip, elbow goes back. We're squeezing through our back as we lift. And this way with our elbow down to our, to our leg, we're not getting that twisting motion. 
We want to make sure our back stays nice and straight so our shoulders are square. And again, pull that dumbbell right to your hip. And then we're just going to switch sides. Same thing, just your arm right on top of your leg. And then pull straight back. Coming right to your hip. Elbow goes back. So I don't know if y'all can see that. I'll turn to this side. Almost there. And then rest. We're going to go back to our chest. So for round two, set two. Going back to that. First side, tuck your pelvis in, arm all the way up, elbow out slightly, pushing through your chest. Make sure you're right at your chest line. Nice and controlled. Breathing through it. And then rest for switching sides. Same thing on the other side. Opposite arm goes up. And then push. Nice and controlled. Pushing through the chest. You got it. Almost there, two seconds, and then rest. All righty, we're coming up. We're gonna work that row. So coming right to this half stance here, and then row back. So keep the belly pulled in. Shoulders are nice and square. Pulling that weight back towards your hip. Squeeze through the back. Again, nice and controlled. This is definitely an exercise that you wanna use a little bit heavier of a weight. So if you don't have a heavier set, maybe put two of your dumbbells together so that you're holding two and getting a little extra resistance here. Nice and controlled. We're almost there. Squeeze through the back. And then rest. We're going back down for that chest press. Starting with your first side. This is set number three, last one. Ready and go. There goes my beep. I'm not sure why sometimes that has a little bit of an issue of sounding off. There we got 10 more seconds. We're gonna keep pushing, working through the chest. Nice and controlled. Two seconds and rest. Switching sides. Again, opposite arm all the way up. Pull the belly in. Ready and go. Push. Nice and controlled here. Think about the chest. Work at those muscles. Keep going. Five more seconds. Three. Two, one, and rest. Let's come all the way up. We got that row that we're gonna do. So coming to a half stance. 
And then we're just gonna pull straight back. Let's go ahead and go. My timer's being kind of weird today. So remember, we're pulling back towards your hips, squeezing through your back. So we're not like pulling up towards your chest here. We wanna kind of be pulling back. So right to the hip, squeezing through the back. We got five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's switch sides. Same thing. We're just gonna pull back. Let's go ahead and go. There we go. Pull back towards the hip. Squeezing through the back. And then rest. We're gonna take a little 30 second water break here. You can also just take and move your arms around a little bit more. Get a little stretch here. Maybe pull it up and open up through your chest. Stretch out through your back. We're gonna be doing a shoulder press and then a hanging bicep. So we're gonna do, again, one side only. And again, I'm gonna use my arm to help me balance and so I'm not shifting. So opposite arm out straight. This one's going out and then press. And I like to do the arm out straight so that I'm not twisting my body so that I'm not tipping over. So that arm stays out. And I try to keep my hand nice and level to the floor. So that way I know that I'm not dropping that shoulder. <sighs> Breathe through it. Three seconds. And then rest. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then we'll go to our hanging bicep. So starting in four, three, two, one and press. Keeping the core nice and tight here. Breathe through it. And again, that arm is out straight on the opposite side, so we're making sure that we're not tipping as we press. Got about 12 seconds. And then rest. We're gonna do a hanging bicep. So I want feet a little bit wider, just body tipped over. And I'm gonna have my opposite hand right here. And then we're just gonna do a little hanging bicep. And again, I want you to keep your core nice and stable, shoulders square, so that you're not rotating. By rotating, I meant if you were like doing like this and kind of twisting through the back. We just wanna stay nice and low here. Keeping the shoulder square. And I like this because it kind of gravity is working against you here. You have to really control on the way down to make sure your weight just doesn't overtake you and pull you down to the ground. So other side, same thing. And then you notice on my opposite arm, I'm keeping my elbow nice and soft. I'm not like locked out and pushing that pressure into my shoulder. Just keeping the elbow soft. Abs are pulled in, back is flat. <sighs> Breathe through it, you got less than 10. And then rest. I'm gonna set mine down and just shake it out for a minute. We're gonna go back to shoulder. So feet it a little bit in, knees soft. Again, that opposite arm straight out in front, palm facing down. So we make sure that we're not tipping over. Keep that core tight. You're doing good. Halfway there. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Let's switch sides. Shake that one out. We're doing the other side, same thing. Get ready. 
and press. More than halfway there. You got us. 10 seconds. You feel yourself kind of like wobbling around with your with your weight, either drop it down to a lower weight or take a little second just to rest and reset. All right, we got that hanging bicep. So again, feet a little wider and then just soft arm here. Back is flat. So make sure that your back is nice and flat and then you're not rounded over and hunched over. So pull your shoulders back. Nice and strong here. Three seconds. And then rest. Oh, check it out. Other side. Ready and go. Again, back is flat, shoulders pulled back so that your back is not hunched over. Pull the belly in. And then rest, shake it all out. We're gonna do one more set, just like that. Shoulders and biceps. Ready and go, push it out. Opposite arm straight out, palm facing down. Making sure we keep that core tight. No leaning over. You got this. Less than 10. Three, two, one, and rest. Again, if you're tipping over and moving around. Oh. Twelve seconds. Oh, I feel it like getting heavy. Oh, a little second for me. And then one more. All righty, hanging biceps. We're almost there. And our feet a little wider. And then just that hand, arm is nice and soft. Almost there. 10 seconds. Going three, two, one, and rest. We're going to do the other side. I'm going to turn slightly to the side here. So again, just feet wide. Arm is nice and soft on the opposite leg. Shoulders pulled back, back is flat. Abs pulled in. Thinking about this bicep. Working it. <sighs> Breathe through it less than 10. Three, two, one, and rest. 30 second water break here. We're just gonna shake it all out. Again, if you have a weight bench and you want to use that for this next part, you can. I'm just gonna show you on the floor. We're gonna do four different exercises, three sets. This is a dumbbell pullover. We're doing a skull crusher, a piston press, and then we're gonna do a full sit up with a shoulder press. So go ahead and go down to the floor. Oh, 
time catching up with me. So both hands on your dumbbell. We're gonna again, push that pelvis down or tuck it in, small back to the floor. And then we're just taking a single dumbbell. Arms are mostly straight and lower down towards the floor and then squeeze back up. So we got your back working here, your chest, your arms, squeeze in. One more, and then rest. We're gonna hold both ends of your dumbbell. So I'm gonna set mine down before I just switch. Holding both ends, arms straight up. We're going for that skull crusher. So again, tuck your hips in. Smaller your back is flat. And then we're just keeping a straight line from our shoulder to our elbow. Bend at the elbow. Take your weight right above your forehead. Work in the triceps here. And then rest. Next up is gonna be a hex press. So we're gonna hold that dumbbell long ways here. We're gonna put it right at our chest. We're gonna keep our elbows tucked in. We're gonna press to the top and then slowly lower down to the bottom. So push and lower again. Tuck your pelvis in, pull your belly in. You want the small of your back just flat to the ground. And then just giving a big forceful push to the top and then slowly lower down and rest. On the next one, we're doing a full sit up with your dumbbell. We're gonna add a shoulder press at the top. So from holding right at your chest, we're gonna come all the way up, shoulder press up and then down. Remember to control it on the way down. Pull your belly in, roll it down one vertebrae at a time. You got less than five. So holding your dumbbell long ways, soft arms here, just taking it over your head, come down towards the floor and squeeze back up. Just a little tiny bend at the elbow. And then rest that skull crusher is now both ends. Going straight up here and then lower down just above the forehead. Work in the triceps. You got it, you got it. Nice and controlled. And then rest. Like my elbow needs to pop, there it goes. Alrighty, hex press. Holding from the center, right above your chest. Elbows stay tucked in. Press right from the chest, slowly lower down. Push and lower. Again, pull the belly in. <sighs> I love this chest exercise because not only does it get your chest, can really feel your triceps working as well. One more and then down. We're going that full set up with your shoulder press. So again, we're holding from both ends. Start right from the chest. Come all the way in, shoulder press at the top.
One more. And then last set, we're doing that pullover. So holding from the center. Going long ways here. All the way up. Lower down towards the floor. And then pull back in. This one is great to do on a weight bench and get a little bit further range of motion. And then rest. Goal crusher is next. Remember holding from both ends. Taking it all the way up. And then just going right above the forehead. Working the tricep. Almost there. Three, two, one. Hex press is next. So holding right from the center. Both hands in the middle. And then remember, elbows stay pulled in. Pushing from the chest, slowly lower down. Breathe through it. Making sure your belly's pulled in. You're keeping your abs tight. Almost there. And then rest. We got this last one. It's that full sit up with your shoulder press. It's the last one in your workout. So coming all the way up. Shoulder press here. And then slowly lower down. One vertebrae at a time. Control your abs. <sighs> and then rest Set it, your dumbbell to the side. And then just stretch it all the way out. And then bringing your arms out to the side, palms facing up. And then we're just gonna bring our knees in, grab from behind, rock yourself to a seated position. We're just gonna take and pull our arms back, sit up nice and tall, push your chest out, stretching out through your chest. And then bring it into the center, taking yourself all the way up to standing. I'm just gonna keep taking a few extra seconds here just to kind of stretch. So stretching out through the shoulder. Your workout is officially done, but I highly recommend that you get some stretching afterwards. Not only does it help with your flexibility, it helps with the muscle soreness, helps to prevent injury, keep your body feeling good. Relax it out, deep breath in, arms to the top, bend at the elbows. Take this down, stretch out through your triceps. Deep breath in and out. And then rest, take it up and then just stretch out through the bicep a little bit. Just palm facing up and then pull your fingertips towards you. And then same thing on the other side, palm facing up and then just pull fingertips back towards your elbow. And then relax and just take and roll the wrist around, going both directions and then take feet closer together and just roll your shoulders back. 
Again, stretching out a little bit through the shoulders here, opening up through the chest. One more, and then go in the opposite direction. And really kind of just roll out your back. Nice, good stretch here for your back. Making sure you're just getting kind of nice and round. Bring it in. Let's do one deep breath in. Let's take this down. And then let the upper body just hang. Stretch out through your back. Drop your head. And then roll up nice and slow. Pull the shoulders back. Stand up tall. Give yourselves a big hand. Thank you so much for joining me for this single dumbbell upper body workout make sure you like and subscribe to our channel because we always have more workouts coming up all the time thanks and have a great day